going guys it's the pixelated pumpkin and in today's video i will be unboxing setting up and reviewing my possibly new favorite scarecrow animatronic of all time i guess we'll have to see but this is the seven foot animated raven scarecrow made by techie design and sold exclusively at big lots before we get into this one, I have to give a massive thank you to Big Lots for sending me this, along with two other animatronics. I really appreciate it. They have a great social team. Thank you so, so much to them, because this is such a badass scarecrow design. Will it live up to the hype? I don't know, but let's unbox it and find out. So here is what you see when you take it out of the box. And of course, it's a techie prop, so everything is gonna be twist tied into this little box here, basically the box within a box, if you will. I really like how techie does their stuff. It makes it super easy to get everything out. Looks like everything got pretty rearranged in shipping, I guess you could say. Looks like it got knocked around quite a bit, but it looks to be like everything is here and it looks fine. So, but I'm super, super hyped to see this guy set up. So let's begin unboxing him. So the first thing on top, I guess these are just shipped loose, is the crows, or I guess ravens. I don't know why they call them ravens. I'm going to go on a quick rant here. Why do they call them the raven scarecrow? They should have called them like murder of crow swarm or something like that. Because like a bunch of crows all together are called a murder of crows. I think they could have done something really interesting with the name, but oh well. I guess they just named it generically. Not a huge deal, but anyways, here's one of our ravens. As you can see here, we have one of the titular ravens that will be circling our scarecrow's head. This is pretty detailed, I guess. It's a, it's like a soft plastic. Doesn't feel too high quality, but I think it's all right. The face on it, you know, I'm not expecting the most from these crows. I just think it's like a solid black mold. It's all right, in my opinion. Here's the wire that will basically attach to his neck area to sort of spin the crows around his head. Really cool looking. I love it. Here are the other crows. Here are the poles that will go behind him to make it look like he's posted up on a board, I guess, or like a scarecrow typically is hung on like a long piece of wood. Here we have the instructions and fog tube. I won't be demoing him with the fog in this video, unfortunately. I don't really have access to a fog machine right now and, and I don't feel like buying one just for this guy. So sorry about that. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. Next up, we have the Scarecrow himself. Look at that. How awesome does this Scarecrow look? I love the face on this guy. I'll bring it up for a closer look. Now here is the Scarecrow himself. Take a good look at that awesome jack-o'-lantern face. I love how the mouth looks. I love how the eyes look. Really everything about this dude just screams Halloween and screams awesomeness to me. Here's a look at his like rib cage here, I guess. It's like a plastic part. He will light up inside of there. Um, yeah, the clothing and stuff. A little bit hard to orient him here, but uh, you'll see him when he's set up anyway. But yeah, take a look at that face one last time. How awesome. Here we have the control box here. Uh, looks like the pretty much standard techie fare, I guess. Pretty cool. Here we have some more poles, and guess what, right here? This is actually a light, a fire and ice light, I believe. I don't know if it's officially called that because it's definitely not a jemmy light, but let's get this off. All right, we got the bubble wrap off. And yeah, this is gonna be a really cool, like rotating, almost looks like a flame inside of him, which I think is so cool. I believe the cremator at Spirit Halloween has the same thing going on. I think it'll probably look way cooler on this guy though. So really excited to see how this looks. And the last thing out is the base. And as you can see, there's only one pole dead center because that's all this guy really has. He just has one pole going straight through him, which I think is cool. I don't know if he should have had pants or not. I don't know how two legs on him would have looked. I'm interested to see if they redo the design for this guy at any point. Sometimes they like to, because sometimes Techie likes to make multiple versions of the same scarecrow. I'm curious if they make one with legs, but I don't know how that would look. I don't know how that would look. I don't know if I would prefer it or not, but yeah. Here's the base. All right, everyone. Now that we got everything out of the box, let's begin the setup. Hi there, and welcome to Techie. Ah, I'm kidding. Of course, we start with the base, and you're going to want to put some weight on it. Then come the poles. First, you attach the one with nothing on it, then the control box, and then you attach the one with the light. It's very important that it goes in this order. 
Then you're gonna wanna attach the scarecrow himself. Be sure that every layer of his clothing gets fed through the pole. I messed up a few times, but once you get it, it'll be fine. After that, we're gonna wanna attach those wooden poles that basically makes it look like he's actually on a wooden stake, which I think is such an awesome touch. I absolutely love these. And then after that, you're just gonna wanna attach the crows. This is definitely the hardest part. It did take me a while. The snap locks are a little tricky, but it shouldn't take you that long. After that, you're just going to want to attach a bunch of wires. There's actually quite a few on this guy, so make sure you do that so he'll actually work. And then after that, you're just going to want to make him look all nice with his hands. He does have those cool poseable arms and hands there, and then he'll be ready to go. All right, everybody, now that the Raven Scarecrow is all set up and looking gnarly as hell, I mean, I absolutely love how this dude looks. It's time for me to review him, and then after that, I'll show you his demo. All right, here he is, the Raven Scarecrow. And before I reveal too much about how much I love this guy, let me just start right off with his overall look. I'll start with the face. It is literally the perfect pumpkin monster face. I mean, seriously, I don't think it could get any better than this. Whoever sculpted this over at Techies Design Team, you did a perfect job. You need a raise right now. I'm being serious. I absolutely love the face on this guy. It is perfect in my opinion. Genuinely one of my favorite looking prop faces ever made. It is scary. It is awesome. It is right up my alley for sure. I also like how the birds look here. While they're not the best or most detailed, they definitely get the job done and it is nice that they have texture to them at all. Really cool for sure. I'm also a big fan of this guy's color scheme. The orange and navy blue work really well. We've never seen a scarecrow with anything but the grays and burlap color and oranges, stuff like that. The fact they gave this guy navy blue is so unique and so cool. I really, really love it. I also love how he has those wooden poles to make him look even more realistic like he's an actual scarecrow posted up on a wooden board. That is just so awesome. It adds a lot to this guy, in my opinion. Awesome design choice on Techie's part once again. I also really like how the rib cage looks here, especially with the light on it. It just looks so cool. And that's another thing, the lighting, they went the extra mile with this one. One, I absolutely love that inside fire and ice light. The internal lighting looks crazy. And of course, the lighting in the head is fantastic. I love the quick flickering effects. Seriously, so, so cool. Absolutely perfect in my opinion. That bright red orange color, magnificent. Really, you can't beat it. And the hands, I know there's some people who aren't a big fan of these poseable hands, but to be honest with you, I like them quite a bit. I'm not sure how I feel about the four fingers, though. I really wish he had five, or maybe he could have four long ones and then a smaller thumb. It just doesn't look too natural sometimes, but I don't know. I still really like the hands, but my two cents is I think the hands are fine. I really, th I really think people complaining about them are just nitpicking, which, I mean, I know is my specialty, but uh, I'll let it slide for this guy. Anyways, I think the overall look is pretty much perfect here. I have absolutely no complaints at all. I seriously love it. So the overall look is basically perfect. Now let's talk about his animation. And oh my god, well, it's simple, but it is so, so unique. Those three birds just spinning around his head. Phenomenal. Just phenomenal thinking here, Techie. It's definitely not impressive. I, I definitely can't say that. I mean, it's not like servo movement or anything, but it doesn't need that. That's not the point. The point is to be unique and give us a really cool gimmick, I guess you could say. The crow circling around the head is just genius. It really is. There's no other way to put it. Absolutely genius. I, I think it's just such a vibe. It makes this guy so unique. And I don't know. I just love something about it so much. It's just this very sort of simple, but just really smart, really cool animation. I love it. And with the animation and design out of the way, let's talk about the audio. And I think this might be the best part of the prop. This is genuinely the best audio I think that has ever been put on the prop. First off, the voice. Whoever they hired here did possibly the best voice acting job I think I've ever heard in movies, television. This right here is the creme de la creme. The voice is so menacing and so scary. It is just shivers to my spine, man. Shivers to my spine. It just sends them straight down. Actually really scary sounding voice here. I love it. The voice is just crazy sounding. I love the laugh. I love just how he enunciates the words. It's just so scary. Really, really scary stuff. And the phrases, they are perfect. You'll hear them in a little bit, but the one where he goes, there will be blood. Oh my God, that is tough as hell. Seriously, seriously awesome. I think the audio on this guy makes the prop go from perfect to even more perfect. It's just crazy how good the audio, they completely nailed it here. Absolutely perfect. 
So now with all the visual and audio elements out of the way, let's talk about the quality of this dude. I think it's really solid. Techie, especially over the past two years, I want to say, has really stepped up the animatronic quality in terms of its mechanics and just durability. I could definitely see this one lasting for a long time, especially considering the animation is so simple. I don't think it's going to be breaking down anytime soon. Definitely making this a worthwhile investment. The quality is definitely not something to worry about at all here. That's my honest assessment and finally let's talk about this dude's price whether he's worth it or not a hundred and fifty dollars a hundred and fifty dollars that is it for this guy i am shocked spirit halloween is selling max straw for two hundred dollars a dumb looking scarecrow that just turns his head from side to side and big lots somehow is selling one of the coolest scarecrows ever made for only 150 with internal lighting crazy internal lighting i might add more animation than max straw and some of the best damn phrases i think i've ever heard just phenomenal phenomenal stuff only 150 dollars for a prop that does so much seriously seriously awesome and good job on big lots for really being able to sell these props at prices people actually want to see the only thing i say is a drawback here and i guess this does kind of attribute to the low price is there's no adapter and if that's how they're selling these things for so cheap then you know what fine don't include adapters i definitely think being able to sell this guy for 50 bucks less is definitely a plus i mean obviously adapters don't cost 50 dollars, but they definitely do add to the price in some amount so maybe that's why they are actually so cheap but it's fine in my opinion all good with me yeah but only 150 dollars absolutely worth it in my opinion so my final verdict here should you get this guy or not yes but there is an asterisk with that because it's going to be hard to get this guy he's not available online anymore he sold out very quickly so the only way to get him is in store and i know there aren't that many big lots around anymore which is really unfortunate but if you are lucky enough to stumble across this guy while at a big lots buy him buy him as soon as you see him all right everybody that's it for my review now let's take a look at the demos Trespassers will be mutilated. I will drag you down into eternal darkness and, oh yes, there will be blood. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!